all night that you fuckers glow? <laughs> <laughs> this seems like something you would fucking point out. Uh, I mean, I, uh, you guys are just, yeah, you guys are just rolling like they're fucking, just like, what? It's just, it's my head. Um, <laughs> like, if you went everywhere, like, you guys aren't even together. It's just like, uh, yeah, you just, <laughs> you just fucking, yeah, yeah, halos. Oh, um, that's fantastic. All right, angels and, and I guess you guys are the demon. Uh, all right. um, I'll play to this side. Um, I, uh, I, uh, it's good to be back uh, home for a minute. I, um, I, I just, my, my wife, uh, actually we, uh, Mike was talking about dogs. We have, uh, we have three dogs now. We just got a, we just rescued another puppy. Yeah, my whole house smells like fucking 409 and piss. Now. It's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> my first, it's my first female uh, dog too, so I can't yell at her like I do the other dog. The other dog's just like, fucking asshole, fuck you, go outside. With the, with the new one, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Pee on my shoe, it's okay, sweetie, yeah, it's fine. I, uh, yeah, I, I love dogs. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, my wife, uh, before we had our, our, our daughter, you could tell she really wanted to have kids. She was putting clothes on our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I get home, they're wearing fucking sweaters. One of them's got a hoodie. <laughs> and they're looking at me like, can you do something about this yet? Because uh, pretty sure the next step is pants. And I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward to that. It's not so much that they look ridiculous, which they do, it's just now when I pet the dog I get, I feel like a fucking pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Barney, you're such a good boy. Let, let me get up your shirt a little bit there, Barney. <laughs> Relax, you're a good boy. Because <laughs> you're not gonna fucking tell anybody about this. <laughs> pet my dog. I hear... Uh, I was gonna say when I started, I, uh, my, my, my wife, uh, uh, she's in charge. I don't know if anybody's been married before, but um, <laughs> I now have a foreman at home. Uh, but um, she made me go, I had to get a uh, uh, food allergy test recently, because uh, she, she's just like, it's, too, it's not normal to have that much diarrhea. <laughs> 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 Which it probably is. I mean, yeah, for most people, it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna have diarrhea. And me, it's like, hey, I'm gonna go have diarrhea. And, uh, <laughs> it's just a thing, you know. I mean, like I know, I've known for a long time. I'm lactose intolerant. I manage the problem. I just eat string cheese on the toilet. I'm fine. <laughs> Cuts out the middleman or something. I don't know. They, um, but yeah, I, I went, I had the food allergy test. I found out I'm uh, allergic to gluten, um, as I guess everybody fucking is now. Um, <laughs> so I started eating uh, gluten-free food, um, a gluten-free pizza, and gluten-free pasta, gluten-free bread, and uh, after that I decided I'm not allergic to fucking gluten anymore. <laughs> Those people sell that shit and, and feel okay about themselves. It's fucking terrible. Really? Try gluten-free mac and cheese. It, it'll, it, you won't have problems with diarrhea because you'll be fucking eating it now. Uh, it's like fucking glue, dude. It's fucking terrible. It's not the same. Just because it looks like mac and cheese doesn't make it mac and cheese. It just makes it a sticky glob of shit with fucking cheese on it. Um... Sorry, too graphic for some people. I, uh, <laughs> sorry, angels. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I, I just, um, and, and my wife wanted me to go to, I, they wanted to set an appointment with a nutritionist. I, I canceled that. <laughs> like, that's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, I, I, I'm not, I don't, I just don't live a normal life. I can't fuck, because I know, I've been to enough doctors and specialists and shit to know how that's gonna go. I'm gonna sit down and be like, so, when you get up in the morning, what time do you eat breakfast? And be like, uh, usually 
<laughs> what, do you ha- what do you have for breakfast in the morning? Maybe four or five hours of sleep. Uh, <laughs> all right, what about lunch? <laughs> How many meals do you eat a day? I just, do chips count? Because uh, <laughs> seven, if that, uh, if that counts. <laughs> You know, I just live. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, you know, it, it, the world's changing, man. It's a crazy place. Uh, like I said, I'm a father now. Uh, my wife and I, we have a daughter. She's uh, she's two. Um, yeah, people are always, no, she just turned two in May. And uh, people are always like, hey, did you get her signed up for preschool yet? I'm like, no. She's <laughs> happy she can use the potty. You know, I, 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 I don't give a shit. <laughs> you gotta get her signed up for preschool. I'm like, why? Wait, I, wait, what is it, like dog catcher gonna come get her? <laughs> she's fine. I, I mean, like, it really down. Well, when, she, when she's 25 and going for a job, so she's gonna be like, oh, really? That was your preschool? Oh, uh, that's, uh, sorry. You're gonna have to go. <laughs> I mean, it's not that, you know, I mean, honestly, I'm not really looking forward to sending her to school at all. Because I fucking hated school. <laughs> like, I couldn't imagine you know, her having to deal with, you know, all this shit. I mean, kids are fucking suck. <laughs> like, I always say, you know, oh, kids can be cruel. Yeah, because they're fucking douchebags. <laughs> I, I mean, they really are. I, mean, I don't want to subject her to that shit. You know, like, I couldn't imagine it. Like, I had to deal with bullies as a kid a lot. Uh, bullies are fucking assholes. Um, they're the worst. I mean, it, like, they're always dicks. <laughs> yeah, bullied her. What? <laughs> what? I said, excuse me. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Good. Then we're <laughs> we cleared that up, sir. All right, let me get around you. What the fuck? What? I, um... But yeah, it, you know, it, it really is like I, I you know, I couldn't ima- I couldn't imagine dealing that with that though for her cuz it's like you know, I want to protect her in every way. Like I don't want to I don't want to be fucking with her. I couldn't imagine having to go like if she got bullied by some kid and having to go deal with that kid's parents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> it seems like your kid walked in front of my car and uh, <laughs> didn't want to be the bearer of bad news anymore. But, uh, <laughs> but fuck your kids. Uh, it really is. It, it's just getting to the point with, with uh, I, you know, I mean, I travel a lot. I, um, you know, people are, it's nice to see decent people every now and then because they're becoming fucking endangered really quick. Um, you know, like, I, I saw this guy, I mean, like, I'm glad I have a daughter, because that really takes a lot of pressure off of me as a father, because there's really nothing my daughter can do that's really going to be, like, I'm not going to get embarrassed or feel uncomfortable or anything. Like, I, I saw this guy at an air, at, at LAX, uh, you know, he had, he had a couple kids with his son, like five, had a baby doll. <laughs> and he was a fucking soldier about it. I, I mean, he's just like, he's like, yeah, hi. My kid's got a baby doll. (laughs) It's fucking strong. I mean, I would try to do that. It wouldn't come naturally. You know? Don't you like teddy bears or something? I, um, that's fucking weird. Um, You know, because I really, I I just, you know, but I mean, you see people like that, that's cool, though, that people, there's decent people in the world, because some people are just dicks. I uh, I was I was late for getting to the airport because uh, of traffic. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> and uh, I I get to the airport and and you know I'm like I got like I got I mean you know if you have to check luggage like 45 minutes in advance you know and I, I get there like 46 minutes ahead of time. <laughs> I get I get inside the airport and there's like two people in front of me in the line to check in and I said excuse me I'm sorry I I, I I'm really I'm really late you guys mind if I go ahead of you guys? The first guy's like, nobody's working up there anyway. They all look like zombies. (laughs) Okay? (laughs) 
the fuck does that do for me? I, uh, there's a woman in front of him. I'm like, can I go in front of you? I literally, I got no time. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. We have this big trunk we have to check in. What the fuck does that have to do with the clock? I, I mean, we have this big trunk. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking punch you in the mouth. <laughs> Lucky I had my baby doll. So, so I, uh, I, you know, I felt more comfortable. I mean, flying fucking sucks, man. I don't know if you do it a lot. The airlines are the one industry that just does not have to give a fuck what you think. Because what are you gonna do? I love that they pretend to care if you have a grievance or something at the airport, they have their keyboard. It's like, I didn't fucking say anything yet. What are you typing? A portly man approaches the podium. Oh, did you have a bad time, sir? Well, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go over to gate A17 and go fuck yourself, all right? Cause we don't give a shit. Cause unless you're planning on buying your own plane, you'll be back, bitch, all right? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck, she's right. I'm not gonna buy a plane, God damn it. My one weakness. <laughs> I mean, really, it's, uh... I mean, everything was flying, I, you know, like when does sitting in an exit row seat suddenly make me a fucking employee? <laughs> you ever just ask me, are you ready and willing to complete these functions? I don't know. I need verbal confirmation, sir. Yes, sir. I do, in fact, want more leg room. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna own up to any of this shit. You know that, right? I mean, if you really think of the planes going down in flames and we're all screaming like, oh my God, we're gonna die. Like, I'm gonna be like, oh, but wait. I have a verbal commitment I have to honor. <laughs> oh, then I'll, I'll open the door, but I'm going first. Right? <laughs> Standing there like a jackass. And thank you for dying American Airlines today. Watch your step. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, uh, I get delayed all the time. Fuck your schedule. I mean, if, if uh, yeah, if they got problems, you got time. <laughs> If it's the other way around, you should have been here, stupid. <laughs> like, I've had it where I have to make, like, a connecting flight, and, uh, you know, like, my first plane arrives late. Not my fault, I wasn't fucking driving it, right? <laughs> and, uh, they dropped me off in, like, Terminal B. I gotta get this fucking W or some shit. <laughs> and, uh, I haul ass across the airport. I've had it happen at least twice I can remember. I, I can see the door closing up ahead of the door, of the gate that I gotta get to, and I'm like, no. <laughs> oh shit, they got a Wendy's here. <laughs> I get up to the front, I'm like, hey, I'm on, I'm on this plane. Oh, I'm sorry, that, that plane's already gone, sir. But I can see it. Oh. <laughs> right there. I mean, just, just open the door. Let me on the plane. Yeah. Like we planned. I'm sorry, that plane's already gone, sir. It's right fucking there. Look at me. I, I sprinted across the airport. Look at me. I don't fucking sprint. All right, give me a break. <laughs> if it's the other way around, fuck it. Have a seat. I, I, I was, uh, I was on a connecting flight. I think it was from Dallas. You know, everybody, everybody boarded a plane, everybody sat down on a plane, everybody's ready to go for three hours while they fixed a minor mechanical problem. <laughs> it's always a minor mechanical problem. They're never gonna tell you, yeah, the fucking wing fell off or something. <laughs> Sit back and relax for about three fucking hours. And, uh, the whole time they're policing the aisles. Everybody needs to have their seatbelt on. Why? <laughs> they should make some sort of surprise takeoff. <laughs> I'm all ready to go in case we get fucking here, baby. you know what? We can't fix it. Everybody kindly get the fuck off our plane. Try to get A-17. It's the worst, man. I mean, it's not just flying. I, uh, I guess it's the worst of it. 
hotel rooms. Why can't hotel rooms just have a fucking plunger? <laughs> Is it really that cost effective not to for people fucking stealing them from you? I, 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 do I really have to make that call to the front desk? Do I have to? Hi, uh, this is John Caparulo, room 226. I uh, seem to have some standing water with my poop float in it, but um, that I would really like for a stranger to come take a look at. Do you think you can send somebody? And you know what they think? As soon as you ask for a plunger, you know what they think? Oh, somebody's shooting fucking tree trunks up in 226. Me. I don't shit that big. Nobody shits that big. Am I a fucking camel? I didn't do it. They send that guy up. I gotta make small talk with him. <laughs> like he's somebody checking my fucking brakes or something. I, 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 like, hi. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so I got it this far. But, uh, just can't get it to turn over. Uh, <laughs> That's my time, thank you guys. I, I, uh, I came in tonight and I, I mean, I, I expected to do, I mean with Kaplitz, you know, I, I write it pretty today. much the day of or maybe yesterday, but I didn't write it yesterday, I wrote it today. Um, but it still was like, I, you know, I tried to shoot for five, seven minutes maybe and I, was scheduled for 12. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> what do I do with the rest of this? Um, so sorry to waste everybody's time who's seen that shit before, but uh, um, I just- uh, Everybody likes a classic hit. Well, yeah, um, I guess, not me. I feel like <laughs> I feel like a hack doing my own shit. That's the thing. You didn't write it in 1999. Because, no, no, well, it's, it's not like, it's all stuff that I've written in the past year or so right but still I just you know I wanted I wanted I wanted to be fresh and new and good every time and the first half was new I don't know if, if it was good <laughs> <laughs> it was okay because um, that was the thing too was like he's I didn't not really... joking about eating string cheese on the toilet that's I, a thing yeah a I, mean, thing. I take it with me I'm like I <laughs> like you know yeah, got a poop. Might as well take some cheese. Yeah, how's your sucker? Delicious. Yeah, if you want to lick off somebody's sucker, you go here. I don't mm. share my sucker you go, with people. With your kid, though, you do. No. Well, that's my sucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. She came out of my belly, and I <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> but I mean, she's only she she actually doesn't just take a lick. She bites your your sucker. She just goes here. Thanks. Yeah. yeah sucker complaints. I'm sorry. I Give have, him a sucker. I have complaints about everything here. <laughs> But I love you. You can do anything, and you, you're all right too, kid. I know. Thanks. Guess what um, else is all right? <laughs> Cartoon, comic, promo. Is that ah, now? Oh yeah, that. So go, see, that's a that's go see a thing. That. Yeah, go check that out. So forget about today. It's out. It's there. It's there for you to view. And then hopefully we get uh, enough momentum. We can uh, make this make this a series. Just finished another script last night. We're like. I'm ready to make this damn it's show. Funny. It's just, it's, it's just somebody got to draw it, and I got to pay them to do it. Um, well, <laughs> actually, these guys, Gabriel and Andrew, have to draw and animate it. Um, but uh, somebody's got to pay them. <laughs> it's gonna be me now. Which, you know, tonight I was like, I, I was. Bless oh. you. Oh, you okay? It's not. She's <laughs> you have the best. I mean, she has the best replacement for bless you. It's snot. Snot. <laughs> You okay? Um, but yeah, uh, I was. I, I, I found out after my set that I, there was like a benefit show. I see how you don't share suckers. Um. It's mine now. I didn't think I'm giving it back. <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Uh, any questions, guys? We, do we have? Uh, no. Really don't Thanks. Right, right. So you're still writing questions? Is that, is that what you're doing? It, it's so, yeah, it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working some questions out, you know, on some other comics, and then uh, I'll, I'll bring them to you eventually, Cap. All right, here. Why don't you get down here? And, uh, oh, thank you. I, uh, I don't get the mail. This is delicious. I see why you guys eat all these, these all day long. They're fucking good. I mean, they really are good. Uh, they're, they're, they're some good-ass suckers. I mean, yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, I thought I thought she she ruined suckers by getting healthy ones, but man, you guys are hell.
I mean, there's some <laughs> some fruit delicious suckies. Advertisements for suckers now. We should, yeah. Hey, sucker company. <laughs> Caplets, huh? Huh? Who we likes, like to lolly who too. Who likes poop jokes, huh? You do. <laughs> Our kids with her with her aunt Katie. Uh, Katie, you want to say hi to anybody? DT, come say uh, hi. Come on, DT. YouTubers say like hi. DT. Say hi. So you're not over there lurking and <laughs> it's weird just standing over there. Oh, that's there. a family sucker. <laughs> yeah, uh, Katie has a very active dog she brought with her uh, yeah. this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you love her. I, I do, I do. She's a, she's a very sweet dog, but uh, Never she, she, uh, she she needs a, she needs more activity than I'm uh, capable of. So um, you guys go out all day and I have this dog bringing me balls and, and bones and stuff. And I'm like, dude, I no, just go hang out with the other loser dogs. <laughs> just waste time, please. She's like, no, I want to do your taxes. And I'm like, I, I, I can't. I really have no jobs for you. But anyway, um, thanks for coming by. Have a bad influence on your dog? Oh, for sure. She's yeah. definitely going to come home and just bark at everything. She never barked once, yeah. but now she barks like, yeah. 50 times a day. I'm a bad influence in general on dogs. Okay. Like I really, like I've realized it's like dogs do. I mean, they li they like me. I I really have a great relationship with them because I give them anything that they want, and I am I'm just you know I drip treats. So it's just like they 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 love me for that, but then they really I'm deprogramming your oh, your sure. your and your I'm service dog. To be a service dog. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's good though. See, I'm gonna deprogram her, and then we we'll, we we'll just we we'll just keep her. Okay, I'll yeah, be all right. right. Yeah. See, so, so. personality. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I, I I think I think it's a nice way to put a positive spin on my irresponsible <laughs> behavior. I like it. It was a good spin though. All right. Good. 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 All right. Well, most positive spins are. <laughs> Man, let's, do, that let's get out of here. Give me a beat. Uh, no, sorry. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.